call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing, and you're terrified somebody's going to stick you in a cage. Maybe you're already in that cage and build it yourself. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brett Park. I'm the creator of Thumb Paint, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of a thrift and flip situation, a little customization moment. Um, you'll see it later in the video, but if you're interested in seeing these pants and how I made them, um, keep watching. So first of all, let's address some things. One, the hat. Um, you might be thinking, oh my god, like, why are you wearing a hat inside? Like, are you one of those pretentious people? I think they're really cool when they're not. Um, no. We already know I'm not cool. So, the reason why I'm wearing this hat is because, one, I have a full head of hair that needs to be cut, and two, I have acne on my forehead. Like, you know those little bumps you get when you're a teenager? I have those. Um, and so, it covers some of it. Not all of it. We wish it covered all of it. A month or two ago, Netflix came out with Avatar The Last Airbender, and I have been a diehard Avatar The Last Airbender fan for a while now. I had like sketches of some characters on my wall, and that was from middle school when I wanted to paint my whole room with characters. It didn't happen. So the other day with a couple friends, I went to the local thrift store, the local Goodwill, and it was fun. You know, we had some good times in there. Homecoming? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get into it. And we weren't really searching for anything in specific when we were going to the thrift store because I feel like you should have an open mind when you're thrifting. But then all three of us found corduroy jeans. Um, all different brands, different colors, so we thought we could have a little photo shoot with them. Um, we didn't end up having that photo shoot, but we did hem all of our little pants together. All the pants together were pretty cheap. Mine was like six fifty, less than seven dollars, um, which is pretty good. I mean, not great, but it's pretty good. I don't wear pants often, so it's just kind of a fun way to experiment into the corduroy realm. Not sure. Not sure. On top of the corduroy jeans, I also purchased a pair of white jeans because I wanted a clean canvas to work on when I was going to customize the Avatar of Lesser Minute characters on them. And they were $5, I think. Um, an Abe Lincoln, if you will. Um, the man, the myth, the legend himself. And so, after that, we went to my friend, my friend Rachel's backyard and she got her sewing machine and some sewing supplies and we started to go to tan on our pants. So first of all, we all tried on our pants to see what we had to do to make them work for us. Personally, the length for my quarter pants was actually not terrible, but the waist was just really large, so we were all just wiki-howing how to fix our situation to make it fit us. Um, so what I had to do to fix my waist length, I had to cut out a little triangle in the back of my mm -hmm. jeans and then I sewed that shut together and then it made my waist nice and cinched. Dum be doo be dum. Wow, look at that chonker. That's a dump truck right there if I've ever seen one, John. What do you think? Oh, that's a dump truck for sure, daddy. For my friend Surya, he had to cut down the whole length of his pants to make the actual pant circumference thinner. Um, and then for my friend Rachel, she had to, she had to do a lot. She had to like cut out like some of her pants and then she had to grommet holes in them so that it'd be like a baddie type of vibe, but like fit her waist. I don't know. Hopefully I insert an animation here that like kind of makes sense, but I don't think it will. After I got the waist to the size I wanted, I went to my backyard at home and I took some cool and fun photos. These are some of the photos that I got. I literally just sat on my phone, take a video and just start screenshotting things. Because I'm just alone, you know, with my dog at my house, so I didn't have anyone to take photos of me. Um, but, you know, it worked out. And then, night came. And in the night, I was like, huh, you know what would be really fun and fresh? I should just get a black marker. Um, you know, a couple sharpies here and there, and a Posca pen, and I'll just start drawing things. And so I started sectioning off rectangles all over the pants to where I was going to put the characters in there, and I tried to get all the characters, well, all the main characters in them. Um, I got Toph, Katara, Iroh, Mei, Tai Li, Azula, Zuko, Momo, and Appa. 
sadly, I did not get Cabbage Man, which was a bit disappointing for me, but maybe it can be revised and revamped later. And after three, almost four hours of just going to town at these pants, I came out with this lovely design. a couple TikToks, you know. I got a couple Instagram photos out of it, which I didn't post because they actually all came out crappy. But it was still a fun moment, a great attempt. Perhaps I'll take better photos later on of them, but I was pretty happy with it. And so in total, this project costed me seven plus five plus a marker. Maybe 13 bucks and I got two great pants out of, which I'll never wear again because I purely did this for the video. But you know what? It was entertaining, hopefully. Um, so I hope you guys got a kick out of that. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have anything you want to say, anything fun, a joke if you want to tell me, you know, just put it in the comments below. Maybe it's a hate comment. Love those. Um, and if you guys want to see more of me, please subscribe to this channel. So that's it for the video, y'all. Um, not sure what else to say. That's it for the video.